Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. For Yahweh Oshah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown towards his name, in that ye have, I mean, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. NLT translation. NLT translation. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. Hebrew NLT translation. For Yahweh Yah Shah is not unjust. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him and how you have shown your love to him by caring for others, for other believers. As you do, as as you still do, I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shimei Osha, Yahweh Shimei Krakodash, the Wadi Yahweh Shimei Osha, for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone, deserved double honors, rightfully so. Shalom on to the Akim, pushing the word and sincerity and truth from being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the off of Egypt was the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles in the soils of America. Simultaneously, the church of all the fuck the whole full record to the genius. Simultaneously, the church of all shoot amazing beams of the ungodly and the heathen, it's rightfully so. Hey, I brought this out of all to the course of this video. Just a bezel, seeking salvation out of this filthy place, spiritually on the Sodom, Gomorrah, Egypt, Dagomar, and all the other filthy customs that I've taken upon. And, um, uh, one of the brothers put this verse in the chat. And it was funny, I was spirit, I was thinking about this verse. But I swore I read it in the last video. But I wasn't sure I think I read a different one. Uh, let me see. It was a verse similar to this. Maybe I'm maybe it was the verse. I can't remember. So uh I decided to get a couple of verses just, just to um you know, uh get another one in, man, because uh um I do believe I missed video day for yesterday and yesterday day for yesterday and yesterday I'm not really sure I wasn't calculating because the Sabbath I mean, the, the Sabbath Passover came in and we did, we went down and did the, the service and um but I was driving and I was sort of exhausted I had to get down to camp I mean I had to get down to um to the Passover with the brother's house and um so I was traveling and I couldn't make a stop couldn't get one in so coming from work and stuff like that, zooming down three hours, oh, three hours of change to get down there. So my commute, so you know, I was kind of like zipping down there quick, got there on time. So uh, I wanted to get one in. I got one in before this video, and I thought about this. Hey man, my brother's all. I wanted his hopeful elect, you know, and I'm um, just just thinking. Um, labor of love Bible verses According to Ernest Angley Ministries For God read. is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have showed toward his name in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister God does not overlook anything you do for him Con. That's why we gotta stay focused This is not of us It's not for us It's for Yahweh Shemiel Shah just think I was thinking wrong, Salakia. Yeah. I was just thinking about the verse that I read. But um I seen it or maybe. Um uh, maybe it was this one. Can't remember what verse I read, but um yeah, first Thessalonians chapter one, verse three. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith. And labor of love and patience of hope, and I will honor one Yahweh Shah Mashiach in the sight of Yahweh and our Father Yahweh. So that's what we're doing. It's, we got we doing this for them, and that's it. That's the bottom line. And um, you know we're gonna we go, we up against the, the um 
We got the odds. The odds is not against us. But to them, to the ones that's going up against us, they think they got a better chance to win it, which the odds is against them. Okay, how are you going to go against um, angels that the scriptures, the, the, odds, the odds are against them. But we got to hope and pray that <laughs> we have our shine with us. You know, and that's that's the bottom line. And, and that's what we're looking at. That's how I'm looking. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm always thinking about doing the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah, trying to follow his rules, you know, to the best of my ability. And I know, um, you know, we're going to always fall short based upon the sinful, based upon the sinful flesh. We, we, we caught in the, in the um, we, we, we made to go off until, until our king, Yahweh Shah, could come back and wipe away our tears. You know, and that's gonna be wonderful, man. You know, because uh, yes, um, ever since I've, I've been in the truth, um, it has been an um, emotional roller coaster. Yeah, so I can admit that because based upon this, you know, the, the scripture said, "Don't let your don't let your sins wear you down." Something to the effect like that. Let's see if I can find that real fast. It's a good verse too. Some sort of fact like that. I can't remember how it goes. Don't let your sins weigh you down. Bible verse. I think it's something like that. I just can't remember. I messed that up too fast. Don't let your sins wear you down. Bible verse. Bible study tools, 2 Esdras 16 to 75 in context, 76 in the guide of them to keep my commandments and precepts, says the Lord God, let not your sins weigh you down, oh, and wow. let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Kind of, kind of. so it was 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 76, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts. Say, say the Lord Yahweh Yahusha, let not your sins weigh you down, and let and let not your iniquities lift them lift up themselves. And kind of, that's what we got. You know, we're in this world, man. You know, and we know that we, we came out, and that's why we can't go back. For learning this, we can't go back. And and what we. What, you know, to the best of our ability, we know we we, we trying to follow Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah's laws. You know, and we know we know the, we know the main laws we shouldn't break. The first, you know, I do believe the first ten. Um, I can't quote them right now, but uh, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not be false witness, thou shalt not um covenant a man's wife, something to the fact like that, and. You know, we know dietary law. We know that we, our food is always defiled. You know, but, you know, to the best of our ability. And we do the high holy days. Don't, you know, keep this day holy. You know, we, we know, we learn. We, we, when we, you know, our apostles are shoulders, right? And they say, okay, this is the new moon. The feast days. We just had a, we just had a, uh, we just had our, um, our Sabbath. I mean, our Passover. Which is why it fell on the Sabbath, which was a high holy day. The Lord made it; He made it accurate. Yahweh Shem El made it accurate. Other people, other camps, are trying to make it their way, but Yahweh Shem El made it accurate. All right. So, for based upon um, the moon, it's a full moon. So that was that made sense of how it turned out. It's a high; it's a holy day to Yahweh Shem El And after that, it's the um. The feast of unleavened bread. So we from here on we don't eat bread with leaven in it. You know, for seven days. So we um we are we are we are to the best of our ability, we are keeping his commandments. We're doing his will. And he appreciate that, man. You know, so it's like this verse jumped in my mind. I knew I wasn't you know, so this is just it says, um, and the guide 
and a guide of them who keep my commandments and my precepts. Say the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, let not your sins wear you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. I mean, lift up themselves. So we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want to come with a proud look. We want to stay humble and stay meek to Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Shah. He will protect us, man. And that's a sure fact, man. And I don't know if, like I said, I wish, you know, I would make this analogy to my um, my little one. We're not out the woods yet. We are amongst wild, ferocious beasts, and they will do anything to destroy you. They would look down, they, they would. You know? So we got to be mindful of them. So that was a powerful verse. Most of that came to mind to the spirit. All right, so... Um, let me grab this verse here, just to go around. Just to, um, First Thessalonians chapter one verse three. Let's go to the um. Hmm. Come on, open up. Let's go. Okay, so First Thessalonians chapter one verse three. I'm kind of and um hold on yeah. and and why do y'all watch me on top for our fossils? Our, our elders from Connecticut, our Archeum across the globe, you know, any of you sisters out here that's that's truly a sincerity and truth following the men of the Lord, and um, you doing it, you know, you're not you you listening, doing what what you were told, and the water the water y'all shout out to you too, because we're gonna need women. Shout out on that, we're gonna need some women. <laughs> so that was up to the Lord's will to, that He preserved you. And I brought this out. I say the same thing for myself. I want to be preserved. All right. All right. So, um, First Thessalonians. I want to read this verse again. I want to see what it means, man. Let me pull that up. All right. So lock, yeah. Let's see when I can find another verse. Something powerful, just um. I think I saw this verse too. This was said, um. Um, this is First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse six. Rejoice not in iniquities, but rejoice in in the truth. And that's what we that's what we doing this for the truth, bro. Okay. We are bearing all this for the truth. And the next verse I read it already too. Bearing all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, and that's just truth. You know, sticking to the doctrine. Not wavering, you know, not straddling on the fence. Um, um, Ecclesiasticus, right? Oh, that's that verse. Strive for the truth, he will fight for you. Strive for the truth. Slacky. Strive for the truth, he will fight for you. Ecclesiasticus. Apocrypha. No, I said that right. Let me see. And that's what he said. It said Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 28. Strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord Yahweh Yah, Shah shall fight for thee. And he will, man. He will. He will get you to the next stage, man. Hey, coming down, coming back. Going to camp. Yes, and going to the Passover. It was massive car accidents. I'm talking about like heavy. It was raining. And it was crazy going down. I was just like. Cars everywhere. 
like big, big car accidents. It's like crazy. It's people don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. That's my crazy. And coming back, cop cars everywhere. You know. You know after um, you know after uh, I came out of the Passover, you know, I sort of went to sleep in my car. You know, so I, I rested up before I got back on. You know, we had the yon yons. So, you know, it was kind of, I ain't drinking like four, maybe four weeks. So just mentally preparing my mind. So, um, so I was really, uh, you know, you know, feeling the wine that y'all young. So I went and took a nap before I got driving. And, um, you know, I feel better. You know, it still was like, by the time I got home, it was like eight in the morning. But when I, um. Still driving back, it was, it was still crazy outside. You know, it was after the Sabbath. I mean, after the Passover. And the Passover, you know what happened during the Passover. All types of demons was running down on people. You know, if you wasn't in the house, the death angel just got you. You know, and we know who the death angel was. Right? Need I say more. So, Yahweh Shemel Shah, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 28, strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shah shall fight for thee. He's going to fight for thee, man. He's going to hold it down for you, man. I just, I want to say, I'm one of those men, but the Yahweh Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah for having me on the battlefield with a lot of brothers, man. This is 2024. I've seen a lot of brothers grow on this thing, you know, and um, it's been this wonderful being there, you know. You know, this, um, out on this battlefield and um, seeing the gloriousness, the gloriousness of Yahweh Shem Al Shah to his men, you know. And this is where the moment, this is where you want to be one of them. And if you're one of them, then nothing can stop you, you know. So, you know, hey, I was just, um, that verse I read, the first verse I read, it was, it, it um, it ignited this, um, this, this conversation here. So the brother that put it in the in the in the, um, the chat, so I wanted to utilize it. And um, yeah, so you know, I was also thinking about this other verse too. So all the time I was thinking about this verse. It's so it's so um, how you say um. Uh, it's so comforting, this verse here, man. I love this verse based upon, you know, we're going through it. The brothers, um, the brothers just like, you know, we, we in hell. So what's been comforting us? These scriptures, man. And we've been using, and who's been doing it? The men, the men of the Lord has been telling us, listen, stay focused. Don't lose sight of Yahweh Shemel Shah. He's right there. This is almost over. And who would have knew, I still to this day, because, you know, we was, you know, me, I was always say I was a God, right? Not understanding the, the, the dynamics of the scriptures, you know, before I got into it, before I was taught, before I was, before I was called. I truly believe I was always being called, trying and trying, like not paying attention. But I, I truly believe 2007 was the year, the complete year you know, the seven reference completion, that was the year for me. A lot of things transpired in that year. Can I use that word? Let's see. Transpired. Let's see what it means. Transpired mean Oh. Transpired means Here's the definition of transpire, occur, happen. Ooh, so okay. Occur, happen, and things, a lot of things occur and a lot of things happen in that year, you know? And, uh, um, uh, hey, I can, I can only, can, I can only testify of it. I can only, I can only tell about it, you know? Because it's been, it's in my mental roller decks. You know, I could truly see the evidence of it, of that year when it first, it, it has grown. It have, I have grown in this truth based upon what I was taught 
and what I have to look up and, and things of the such, it has bettered my life. You know, it, it have yes, my life got a little boring. I'm not excited as it used to be. But you know what? I look at it as in a lesson um preparing me, something preparing me for what is to come. And we already know what's to come now. Because the scripture speaks about all the things that's going to occur. Right? That's what it said. Right? Um, occur, right? Occur. Right? Occur. Occur. Happen, take place. That's what occur means. All these things is about to occur. Alright? And happen. Transpire means occur, happen. So that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to, these things are going to happen. And all the things that the scripture speaks about, it's going to occur and it's going to happen. Oh, it was another verse. Oh, man. Um, oh, the word is um, um, Salakia. Terry, Bible verses. It was the word Terry was in it. It was just in my mind right now. I read it early. I don't know if I read it in the last video, but I read this verse and I was like, whoa, it was like two verses. But we know the one that's in Hebrews. No, Habakkuk. But it was another one. Oh, man. I wish I could find that one. I brought the Zah. I want to see that. I want to see what verses with Terry. So, like I said, the Lord is not forgetting us. I don't know. I don't know nothing else. And you know what? I'm glad I don't. I'm glad I learned this truth, bro. It will not tarry. It will not tarry. Bible verses. Have a cool. According to cloudfrit.net, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, minus 4 NKJV, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Huh. So we know that's the one, but it was another one with the word tarry in it. And, um, because Yahweh Shah is coming back. That's, it was with Yahweh Shah coming back. He will not tarry. So it's about to go down, man. You know? And when it happens, you're going to know it's happening, and you cannot, you ain't going to be able to deny it. You ain't gonna be able to say, "Whoa, what, what about this?" You ain't gonna be able to say nothing. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna shut your mouth, Sonetta. <laughs> when the heavens, when the heavens is cracked open by our king and his team, come back get the rest of his team. I have a group chapter two verse three. For the for the vision is yet for a point in time, and it's happening. This is the almost. This is the time. This is be. Between when we learned it and all our elders and, and now to now when we learned this, this is now the point in time is about to be happening. A point in time. Right? Appointed. Appointed. A time, I mean of a time or place. Decided on beforehand. Just um beforehand. Ooh, you're done. Designate. Designate. A time, I mean of a time or place decided on beforehand. Designate. All right, that's what's happened. Appointed. This is about to be it's been appointed. appointed. This thing has been already clarified. The scriptures, that's the thing that you know that these people are not they it was a video. I don't know. I didn't never get to see it. I heard somebody talk about it. And they said they that they got this thing that they always trying to stop what's happening. They're always trying to stop it. They know they every time they do it, it they have to, another type of scenario occur and it still leads up to it. Just happening. They keep trying to change it, but it happens. So it's already it's already placed. So you can forget about it. It's just that we we don't listen. We don't. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna get a crown. 
But I'll be damned. Oh my goodness, that is so on the reverse. I just, I'll be damned if I want to be going back to anything here. Trying to be a rapper, trying to smoke a cigarette, trying to smoke weed and shit. You know what I mean? I'll be damned. Because I'm, I'm, this is a sure word of prophecy based upon how good my vocabulary has gotten and how much I've had just looking up words and, and I got the, and it's easier for me to get to it, you know? And um, I always utilize my words when I get around people and they look at me like, oh, you know, hey, I wish I'd, I wish I'd did more, I wish I'd been more studious back then. I've probably been, a, I've probably been a baby Albert Einstein. But based upon this truth, I was able to raise somebody else up, right? I raised the other person up based upon, you know, learning this truth and what they be they they is as smart as it's gonna get right now. You know? And I didn't we the way we grew up I grew up having Christmas, Thanksgiving and all this other stuff. We didn't we you know, this little person didn't experience none of that. So I didn't I didn't plague her mind with nothing crazy. You know, learning this truth because the scripture speaks about, um, you know that was that the um, um, how you say, the axe man chopping down a tree and decking it with silver and gold. That's in the scriptures. So I said we ain't gonna do that. Uh, we not we didn't we didn't we didn't we we stopped the fire in our temple because it's a temple. Y'all watching me shot. Y'all watching me shot dwells inside of us. So we are um we are at a point where. We doing what we supposed to do for y'all watching our shot. So that's why we should not be ashamed. We, it's not of us, man. This is they, I don't like I said I don't know, but I tell you like this, man. This is in this book. That's in every. If you go to every church, the Bible is in the book. I mean, in the church. The Bible is in the church. Dynamic, man, and what it says inside cannot be not cannot be denied. What it says inside the book cannot be denied. People are always say, oh, I don't believe in it." You know why? Cause they they are, these people are very. It's a lot of people that read the Bible before before I read it, and they read. They said, "What the heck did I? How come this word is in this book? How come they don't say nothing about white people? Huh? How come nobody talking about?" How how come the word Judah mourners at the gate to the language they are black into the ground? Why are they talking about when people people study words? Amber on um, his feet is this fine brass as it burnt in the furnace. You mean people don't people can't comprehend that? That's how I know vocab is is a um that's what makes sense that vocab alone it's a is a um it's, he works for somebody that that wants to destroy the Bible. He's not with the Bible. He just trying to pull many from righteousness. But then our apostles and our elders and our Akim, they are they are um leading many to righteousness. And who's the righteousness? Yahweh Washim Shah. That's your labor of love. Leading to righteousness is your labor of love. So, you know, hey, I, I was just like um, I got so many verses, but I got a few other verses, but I want to end this video just based upon that. So, um, maybe I'll make a part two. All praise and honor, glory to God, by Shemel Shah, by Shemel Kakudash, the Wadi, by Shemel Shah, for the apostles, and the elders of great millstone. Shout out to the Hakim. Shout out to